<clears throat> so this is the uh, third video in a series of videos I'm making about uh, awakening to our, new, our true nature. This uh, video's topic is time and our experience of time and memory. Our uh, default experience is of an entity that lives in time moving from the past to the future uh, in other words our conditioning our belief system is that and also we experience that as well is that uh, I am born and uh, I grew up through the years and one day I will die <clears throat> in this uh, way this manner of experiencing life there is an assumption that I am the body and that I as the body am born and I grow up as the body grows up I age as the body ages and die as the body dies. In other words, I exist as a body. That is the, the belief system that we operate from. And it is unquestioned. You ask anybody in the street about their experience and they will talk to you about the body's experience. They will tell you about where the body was, what the body did, where the body was born, uh, who, uh, what is the name of the, the, the father and the mother of the body, what is their plan for the body but all along they're talking about themselves as the body obviously we all know this experience since we all uh, inherited this uh, belief system the reason why I'm saying it's a belief system is because there is no evidence that I am the body there is a strong feeling that I am the body and a strong belief system that I am, I am the body but there is no evidence that I meaning whatever it is that hears this wor these words I, whatever it is that is aware, I as awareness, I as consciousness, because that is what he uses his words right now. There is no evidence that consciousness is contained in a body or is the body. Whatever research has gone on to locate consciousness has not drawn the conclusion that hey we have found consciousness we found awareness and it's the body that that's still <laughs> and the research is going to go on for another million years it will not arrive to that conclusion that awareness is the body why because awareness perceives form 
perceives thought, perceives perception, perceives you perceive a hand, perceives a hand. So there is a, a reality that is beyond the form that perceives the form. Beyond the form, what I mean by beyond the form, I do not mean separate from the form. I mean a reality that is not limited to the form, is not contained in the form, that perceives the form. That we refer to as life, we actually. We, we say, I am alive, but the I refers in most cases, 99.9% .9 of the cases, to the wrong I, to the wrong me. It refers to the body, to an object, while consciousness is not an object. So the experience of time is the result of our identification with the body, with a mortal body. Since the body is changing with being born as a baby and then toddler and so on, teenager and throughout these years. Since the body is changing and we are identified with the body, we experience, we first with the belief, but we also experience, we feel, we, we, we have a, 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 a sensation of being in time, of existing in time. The, the sensation of time, the experience of time that we have, that is inherited, that is that, that comes as a package deal with the belief that I am a body-mind, is an unhappy experience. It's a, it's a contracted fearful, nervous, uh, worried, anxiety, and anxious uh, sensation that is constantly worrying about the future, looking at the past, regretting the past, or, or uh, in trying to interpret the past so it can secure itself a better future all fear and worry laden and the impression of time is like putting on purple glasses when you put on those purple glasses everything you perceive is purple has a purple uh, quality to it when we identify as a as the body when i when we say i means i as a the body the body is this i when when there is that assumption it is as if you put on purple glasses on everything you're going to perceive and everything you experience your entire uh, uh phenomenal experience even in your in your in your sleep will have that concern about ending fear of ending since the body will end thus the fear that I will end so what do we do about that I mean, we go on living with that assumption, and we go on living unhappily, hoping for eternity for the mortal body-mind. And eternity will not come to the body-mind, we, we do know that. So then we resign ourselves to unhappiness. We resign ourselves to, well, let's do the best we can with this, with this life. Which is not really a joyful way of living. There is no joy in that. There is a resignation, a sort of compromise. 
Now, if we can see, perceive, understand that the body-mind is a phenomenal event that, like the weather, arises on the screen of consciousness. But you are not the event. You are the screen, the presence, the awareness that perceives body-mind, experiences body-mind. But once you realize that you're not a body-mind, that body-mind energy is released, is released to the awareness, to the consciousness, to the infinity, released to the presence. It, it, loses its contour, it loses its borders and becomes a joyful free experience that is not contained in the box or in the bottle. It's liberated like the genie when you remove the, the cap, the genie is liberated from the bottle. It is li the body is liberated from the the contracted experience that comes with ignorance. Ignorance being the belief that I am a mortal body-mind, that I am an object, that consciousness is limited to a form. So you are the, the aware presence that perceives all perceptions and that intimately those perceptions are made out of yourself. They're not out there. What you perceive is your own perception and your own perception is intimately yourself. And there is no time quality to that. It is out of time. It is not in the realm of time. Time is, is an event that you observe, like you observe a child growing, you observe yourself growing, yourself meaning the body, that's what I mean, I, not the identification, but you observe being a two-year-old, three or whatever, five-year-old, ten-year-old, you observe right now thoughts and sensations and perceptions, you experience all these phenomenal events, but you are not a phenomenal event. You observe time, but you are not in time. Time is in you. But the experience of time that we're familiar with in, in ignorance is, is an unhappiness. There is a chronological time, like we need to catch a train at four o'clock in the afternoon. It's no big deal. There is no contraction with that. The contraction comes with me as, a, as, a, as, a, as an object being, becoming an object that, that is decaying in time. And that's very unhappy. Being identified with a decaying body, with a mortal body, is unhappy. That is a bad trip. <laughs> a happier one is being the universal body, meaning being everybody and nobody, being the pure presence, being the happiness, being the joy, being the peace, being the screen and not the images that are arising on the screen. So it's really important as you're you know, contemplating your true nature to whenever you notice that you are going into the I story, I am this body mind and you're recollecting that 
you as a body when you were a 10 year old or 12 year old or 15 year old not to believe these stories see we repeat stories in family and among friends about me the body my body did this and that but we refer to it as me and in repeating these these stories we anchor the the identity we sort of uh, fortify the identity which is uh, the ignorance which is the illusion so instead whenever you notice this tendency to regurgitate old memories and old stories just hit the pause button don't pursue that conversation applies as well to you in the future there is a certain degree of planning that is required for your daily life it's just a limited degree of planning easy to do there is no me in the future in that there is just a few planning about the future it doesn't have a fear in it about what is going to happen to me as a form what's going to happen to me as a body mind as a in the in the future it doesn't operate from those principles you see you are the, the presence, the ease of being, the happiness. We all love the happiness, we all love the, the sense of play and joy and relaxation. following certain passions or some you are passionate about painting or we love hiking it's, it's all very lovely it doesn't have an identification in it we can operate in the world meaning the body can be free in exploring and enjoying what it does it's got all sorts of potential and capacity capabilities that can be very enjoyable without the identification the absence of identification of consciousness with the form is the core understanding realizing that I am not a mortal body mind that I am consciousness and that this consciousness is not personal it is absolutely bound boundaryless What is real is not in time. It's not in space. It is the timeless.
it's not in the world you could say the world is in it but even that is too much you could say the world is its playground but that also is too much your true nature is peace and happiness that does not depend on anything, on any form that is not born and does not die thank you